was hatting in times. <laughs> that felt so silly. Welcome back to another episode of Ark Modded Survival, y'all. Hope y'all are having an awesome day. I am on my way out to this snowy island region, kind of outside of my base, because I looked at a map and it said this is where I could find some terror birds. I think I want to play around with a high level terror bird and have some fun with something a little bit less practical than <laughs> the Argent for a little while. So, thank y'all so much for all the amazing support on the Ark Modded series, guys. Like, the support is incredible. I'm really glad y'all enjoying it. I'm having a great time on here. As always, if y'all do enjoy the videos, make sure to give me some dap on that like button, please. Show your support for my channel. And if you haven't already, you should subscribe. It's free, and it's a beautiful thing. Anyway, we are out today looking for a terror bird. I want to play around with some of the cool stuff from a mod called Arc Advance today. There is uh, like some some very very cool structures that come out of that mod, as well as some cool mechanics that involve steam. And I don't know about y'all, but steampunk has always been like an intriguing. Um, like fantasy culture that uh, that I've always liked uh, the style of it and stuff like that and a lot of the things from it seem like really interesting um, mechanics to play with in here so I'm gonna try to play around with that I did a little bit of experimenting with it off camera and I've also expanded some of my base platforms so I actually have place to work and we're gonna get into uh, maybe some base design today so I don't know about any terror birds, you guys. I haven't seen any on this island yet. It seems like we would have come across some. Uh, judging from the spawn map, there is a couple other places that it says I can look. If I take a look at my map here, if I go north, right around the 50-50 area, west, east, and north of that, all around that area, there may be some, so... You know what else is weird? I have like the snow cave and the swamp cave that is uh and <laughs> those are definitely like landmarks from the regular art game. I don't know, that's weird. I don't know. I'm gonna look around here a little bit more and then I'm gonna head over there and try to find a terror bird, you guys. Alright guys. I spotted a terror bird. Oh, there's a white one around here too. <gasps> a level eleven hundred terror bird. Hold on, that was the wrong one. Wow, and he's stork white like a chicken. Okay, let me get rid of this stupid Rex. Got him. Alright. Where's this terror bird? I hope he's not too hurt. Nope, I don't want that one. He's only, he's 750, that's still a big one. But that's not the one I want. I want this one. Ah, this one. Did I grab it? No. Come on. Come here, Terror Bird. Yeah. There it is. Level 1100 female terror bird. Look how awesome this thing looks. Oh, and there's a Quetzal too. What level is the Quetzal? 224. It's a pretty one, but this one, <laughs> this terror bird is freaking awesome. So I'm going to have to bring this thing to where I can actually tame it. Uh, I don't have a taming pin or everything or anything, but I know there are some places that already have some taming pins. I know of one for certain that's northeast of me around the around spawn. So I think I'm gonna head that way. Alright guys, here's the taming pin that Slip and I used for the somebody set up a chair and stuff. Here's the taming pin that Slip and I used to uh Slip and I and Drax used to get the first uh the first what was it that we got? The trike? So, yeah, this is going to be kind of cool. So, I have a few things that I put together. A little while back, Drax had gave me a kibble vending machine, which takes raw metal uh, and turns it into kibble. It's, it's a relatively easy deal. Uh, I could show it to you, though. Let's see. K 
kibble there it is kibble vending machine so yeah it looks just like a vending machine I'll show it to y'all but anyway I picked up a lot of Gallimimus kibble and also I, I thought I saw some gigas around too so I wanted to make sure I had a lot of Quetzal eggs in case I find a large a uh, high level giga but the Gallimimus kibble hopefully this is going to be enough for this terror bird because it's a pretty big terror bird in addition to that I found something else this is a dream machine it shoots these things which are called nightmare bullets some of the other uh, guys are using these and they do 700 damage and 6,000 torpor so I'm very much hoping that I can knock this guy out with only a few of these and yeah, I'm hoping so in, in, in at least all right let's get ready I cannot miss with this thing I hope it stays still Stay still, babe. Stay still. Steady. Steady. Oh, it's mad. It's very mad. I can't go down there. That did not knock it out. Ouch! How hard did it hit me? I have very good armor on, by the way. I mean, very good armor. I wonder if they can come out of here. Maybe not. <laughs> I'm taking a huge chance right here. I don't know if the damage is instant or not. Wow, it's down. Okay, it's down, it's down, it's down. Alright. I, I hope I don't get knocked out if I go into that stuff right there. Let me see. Okay, I can access its inventory. I don't want to go in the green stuff. All right, the green stuff's gone. That's good. All right, let's see. So 16 kibble. I'm going to have to get a lot of narcotics here. I don't know how much I'm going to need, but it's not dropping. Well, it's dropping pretty dang fast, actually. <laughs> All right, let's see here. So let's start using some. Let's use 20 on it or so. I don't know how fast this thing is going to tame up, but look at its freaking stats, man. Almost 9,000 health. Stamina is 2,600. Its oxygen is <laughs> 2,500 almost. Weight is 525, which is really low, but melee is 975. So I'm going to have to work on a few of these stats. Now, from what I heard from you guys, I can't add any stats over 249 levels. So I'm going to try to balance this out as much as I can. But this is going to be an awesome, awesome bird, man. Let's use a few more narcotics. So, I don't know if this is going to be enough kibble as well. This is what I'm going to do here. Let's go and grab the kibble. Uh, let's go to the kibble vending machine here. And what I'm going to do, let's fly right up here, grab some metal. And that's what you use as like the exchange for the, um, the kibble. So the bird's doing fine, but this is the kibble vending machine. Look inside of it. It's got all sorts of kibble behind the things, and it's got a couple other things. So when you go in, you see that a couple people already have some kibble made. You can make compy puffs, a tasty treat for taming compies, and rurus, a tasty treat for taming procoptodons. So that's kind of crazy. But these are all the kibbles you can make, and we are going to go for... Uh, Gallimimus kibble which we're grabbing right now and for some reason when you when you hit craft all it's kind of bugged out but we've got a couple of Gallimimus kibble already made so that should be fine let's go check on the bird and make sure it's alright ah we got her wow oh man she is freaking awesome looking uh, let me get a saddle for her. I think I need a little bit of wood and that's it. She's going to try to follow, too. You can't get out of here, huh? No, you can't get out of here. Just give me a second. Give me a second, girl. She's a female, too, so she's going to give me eggs. That's awesome. All right. Got plenty of wood now. Let's make a terror bird saddle. Craftables. Terror. There we go. So, the original stats were, like... Let's see. I have it... I have, it, uh, <laughs> I have a picture of it here. So I went from 8,900 health to 13,176. Stamina from 2,600 to 4,144. 
the food and oxygen or blah. Uh, I did go to 3,800 oxygen, so I guess that's going to make a difference if I'm swimming. Uh, weight is 662, which is still really low um, compared to the, well, 525 was the, the, the original weight, so not too bad. Melee went from, uh, let's see, it went from 975 to 2000, and movement speed is 120 from 100, so very, very cool. Let's go ahead and put the saddle on you, darling. Oh, look at her. She looks awesome, man. Okay, so weight's not bad. It can carry around basically what I have. So I probably ought to add a little bit to it. So my weight, my carry weight is 600. So I have 471 right now and 662. Based on the, the advice you guys are giving me about balancing out stats, I definitely think I'm going to have to, uh, I'm going to have some points available, but... Man, doesn't it look awesome? <laughs> we get the little flapping motion. This is cool. All right, I got to bring her back to base and we're going to try to train her. All right, you guys, we're going to start off in baby steps here. So there's a 200 level, uh, level 252 Rex down there. Uh, let's see. My melee damage is 2,000. It goes up 200 at a time. Wow. That's an incredible stat increase, man. All right, let's go get this Rex, shall we? I love, I love the, the floating mechanic. All right, and there's an Alpha down here too. Okay, this is gonna be awesome. 786 Argent, come here. Terror. We're gonna have to float to get you. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's like joust. Oh, I missed. I don't know which is going to give more XP. A level 700 Argent? Or a level 250 T-Rex? Oh, come on. <laughs> Not the easiest things to fight with. They sound so vicious. Yes. Wow. Okay. It's time to get all in here now. How's the help doing? Great. Don't you take my kill. I don't know what level this guy is. Probably not as high as the other one was. Nice. Very, very nice. Okay, let's add some more to melee, shall we? So we can measure this by the hundreds. We started out at 2,000, so I really don't have to worry about that. <laughs> it goes up so high so fast. All right, y'all, I've been healing up a little bit, and there is an Alpha Corno down there that I want to take out. So if you look at the stats here... We got 41,000 total health, 32,000 out of that. I've been using a ton of meat, and I got this little macro that's pretty good here. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit the macro, and you can see how fast it is. I forget the name of the program, but it's basically just a mouse gear macro. I could do it with voice attack too, but I haven't figured out how to do it that well. So I just decided to use this, and it works pretty well to heal this kind of health because... I don't know about y'all, but remote using 300 meat at a time is really, really, <laughs> like, really, really tedious. I want to get some cooked meat going for this type of stuff, but I really think that 41,000 health is enough uh, total. So I want to start working on speed a little bit after one more point in melee. So we got 6,000 melee right now. Let's start bringing up speed some. I don't know how high we're going to be able to go, but this is going to give us a lot of levels right here. So let's go down and take care of it. Ah, uh, speed's coming up a little bit. That's pretty good. I like how you can kind of accelerate your jump. You still take a little bit of fall damage, but it should be all right. All right, this guy is a level... What level is this guy? Uh, excuse me, gal. 140. Let's eat that booty like groceries. Ha! 
right in the booty. <laughs> So Terrorbird's can attack pretty fast too, kind of like Raptors. So that's my advantage here. I'm doing a ton of damage to this thing, and it is not doing a ton of damage to me. <laughs> wow, we like annihilated it. Did I get any good stuff? No, I didn't. I didn't get any good loot. Oh man, that sucks. But still, in all, pretty good. What? Oh, that's just a regular corner. I was like to say, I was about to say, man, is that another corner? All right. So all of those are just regular mobs. Let's get to a safe place so we don't have to worry and check out how much experience we got for that level. And I'm going to put up a lot of movement speed here. So we gain in three at a time. I got to remember that. We're going to stop at 200 and then we'll start doing some math from there and off camera I'll figure out what kind of stats we got and stuff. Alright you guys, so we've been training for a little while and we've got the Terror Bird to level 1722, 17, <laughs> 1722 and we've already had a server reset. So there's, there's some bad news y'all. Yeah, look at this melee score. Oh, it's so frustrating. So health is really good. Stamina is still really good. Oxygen is still really good. It goes fast in the water. I leveled a few points in the weight. So 8, 874 is not too bad. Movement is 228. That's where we were supposed to put it. But melee got nerfed to all get out, man. It was lower than the original stat that we actually got. So I really don't know. And we don't gain much at a time. Not to mention the experience score that we have is really, really high too. So... Yeah, we can continue leveling the bird, but I'm afraid that it's not going to be very, very good as far as levels are concerned. I have no idea what a baby would do either, but it's worth a try. What I'm going to do is keep her around, and I'm going to get uh, a male terror bird, but we're going to stop at level 849. Like, those are going to be the highest that we can get because they're just bugged. I mean, you could get higher level stuff. Um, but they're, they're bugged. So I tried the 250 stat thing. I'm nowhere near 250 levels in any one particular stat. So I have no idea. I mean, I really have no idea what to do, but the footage that you just saw was actually done before the lightsaber and dungeon footage that we got here. That's why you may have seen a terror bird in the background in the lightsaber fight. But I, uh, I, I, I tried to put, oh, I tried to put two videos together uh, because XB was having a lot of trouble getting on yesterday, like a ton of trouble. Well, for the last few days, I don't know why my client keeps stalling like that. Uh, XB was having a lot of trouble getting on the last few days. And after I did my terror bird taming, well, most of the episode, XB messaged me and was like, Hey, I can get on. Let's go do this dungeon. We had been planning to do the dungeon for like three or four days. So yeah, it's unfortunate that that it went down like that, so I'm sorry if it broke the immersion and stuff, but it was necessary to be able to do it. Either that or you would have had like a 50 minute video today, and I know lately I've been going over a little bit, and my watch time kind of shows from it, like you could tell, like I know there's a there's a, there's a an outspoken few of you that are like, yay, long videos, but the sad truth is when you look at the numbers and the percentages, like they're really 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 low like the viewer drop off after 20 minutes is like outrageous it's phenomenal and i know those of you that are watching this video up until the end saying wow who would do that yeah <laughs> it's just statistically guys that's how it is so i just I, I know my channel and i try to do what's best uh for everyone here and that's why i'm just gonna start splitting up content even though it kind of sounds crazy at the time there, because there's so much to do in modded y'all like I never stop like it's so fresh and new and there's so many things to do that I just want to do it all and I lose track of time like I don't know how to make episodes in modded I just I just do stuff so what is this what blueprint armor tro oh, <laughs> you know who would love this Drax man Drax would love this oh we gotta go give my buddy a gift He's going to love that. That's cool. Oh, man. We got to turn down this bloom quality and light shafts. Um, so, for those of you wondering about the updates, too, the rhinos are on here and stuff, which is pretty cool. I haven't seen any, but I'm definitely going to probably look around for some. 
other than that, we're going to have to get a new Terra Bird, but I'm not going to do that today. I did want to show y'all one little teensy, eensy, weensy thing that I want to get into, like, in the one of the upcoming episodes, if my freaking client will stop tripping out. Man. Oh, my gosh. Hold on just a second, you guys. So it looks like I had my, uh, my rendering software open. <laughs> And I was I was running a little low on memory there when I'm recording and my rendering software is open and I'm running Arc modded. It's just ridiculous. Anyway, I wanted to show you guys this. This is an advanced crafting station, okay? Let's set this down right here. And an advanced crafting station, this is Arc Advanced. They have some really, really cool stuff. First of all, look at the beautiful little workbench. I love it. It's a smithy, but it's got all these nice little things on it. Like it shows that you can make building components and tools and guns and tranquilizers and uh, looks like some sort of electronic circuit boards there. Anyway, let's access it and you'll see that we have like structures in here so we can do uh, electric kiln which is to craft symbolic figures of beast you've slayed. We've got some advanced armor skin crafters, an advanced fabricator, kibble cookers, and an advanced cauldron, among other things. So, this advanced cauldron, you can make glass panels, copper ore, copper plates, and more. And this is a steam workstation, which is like the bread and butter to this. And you can make stuff like this. Let me show you. Where is metal here? There's glass, doors, foundations, stairs... All sorts of stuff. There's a couple different types of safes in here. Uh, let's see what else. There's lighting, air conditioners, mailbox. Um, they've got all kind of reinforced wood structures, stone structures, beds, like you name it. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. They have a bunch of different types of ammunition and weapons. Uh, what we have here, defensive walls farming <laughs> like you name it they have a, a wireless egg collector not that we need eggs because of the the kibble stuff but i want to get into all this stuff so the first thing that we're going to need to craft is this thing right here which is the uh what is it this this right here the advanced cauldron we're going to need metal ingots crystal oil and cementing paste so i think i have just about all of that here Metal ingots, oil, cementing paste. I have metal ingots. I'm going to need oil and cementing paste. Those two things I should have in here. I know it's a little dark. Just bear with me for a moment. Uh, let's see. Oil. We have plenty of there. Where's my cementing paste? I think we probably have some in one of these. No. Dan, don't tell me I got to go out and get it. I know I have plenty in one of these fabricators. I know I do. Please tell me I do. Cementing paste. Oh, oh, I have 500. I was about to say, no, I don't want to have to go get none. All right. All right, so I have to go and get the cementing paste. Now I can, I think I can pretty much craft it here. Let's add the cementing paste, the metal ingots, the oil. What was the last thing that we needed? Structures, crafting, uh, crystal. Uh, I know we have that on the LST here. The reason I'm not moving it is I'm too heavy. <laughs> yeah, I am too heavy. All right. So, crystal in here. Now we can make it. Structures, crafting, we got it. Now, we can make multiples of these, by the way, which I plan on doing because these are like... The, one of the major things that you process with and I'm just getting into this mod just to show you a little bit because I'm going to do a lot of crafting uh, off camera and like in the live stream. Um, well, I'm thinking I might do a live stream. It depends how long I lasted at SOTF today. Uh, but anyway, okay, so it's unpowered. We need electricity to power this thing. So we may as well grab a generator. Yes, I was prepared. Yeah, go me. Woohoo. All right. <laughs> Generator. And we're going to put a cable from there. So let's go ahead and connect that. And I don't know if this is going to be the setup, but uh, for now it is. And we'll put the electricity there. Okay. So if we put gas in now, turn on, we're good for another day. 
and this should be powered now. We'll turn this on. Oh, baby. So in this baby, we can craft glass panels. We can do charcoal. We could do copper plates and smelted copper. We can even craft the artifact of the Sky Lord using rare mushrooms, glass panels, rare flowers, and metal ingots. Pretty insane. Huh? Huh? <laughs> anyway, let's put some wood in here and start the process off. Blueprints for coal. And there's a whole bunch of other things we can make, including the steam engine. But I think that takes a lot of um, copper. Let's see here. Structures, miscellaneous. No, let's go crafting. And this takes glass panels and smelted copper. So we'd have to smelt up 50 copper and 20 glass panels, which actually takes a little while. Copper, for smelted copper, you need stone and metal ingots. And it does go pretty slowly. Let me just try to grab some and show you how this works. Let's go ahead and grab this. We'll grab a little bit of that. We'll grab some crystal and I think we're too full there we go we should be pretty good uh, okay and we'll put the crystal in here oh wait crystal goes in there there we go crystal stone metal now we can do copper so we can only do like six or whatever but look how slow it goes so Naturally, this is why I'm going to have a few of them going at one time, and we can also get some glass panels crafting, which doesn't take too long. Also, there's some canned or jar blueprints for glass jars. You could use this to make preserved vegetables. <laughs> kind of kind of cool, but anyway, all of this stuff kind of goes into one, and we get to make this steam engine, and the steam engine looks really cool. I'm going to craft up a little bit of this stuff, you guys, and we'll be back. All right, guys, so a little bit of time has passed. I'll put another uh, cauldron down, and I've been busy. So another thing I told you about, like, remember how I said you could just pick these up and move these around? I wanted to put another cauldron here, so it took up space. So I just picked this one up. Look, pick up advanced crafting station. You can move it around. This is one of the coolest things about these mods, man, because you don't have to demolish them to just put them back down. And then when you're ready, you can just put it back down again or put it in a space that's a little bit better or whatever the case may be it's really nice and this this is the steam workstation this thing is freaking cool look at it i love the dynamics i like i love how pretty it is it's like this is so cool and i crafted up a few things to show you so we've got these reinforced copper walls we've got some glass walls glass sloped roofs I don't, and I can't figure out how to place these, although I've played around with them a little bit. So let me show you. So the glass walls, I made a little walkway to join this, and I thought I would try to glass canopies over it, but they don't really place, and I can't understand why. So let's go ahead and try to place one, and you'll see how it wants to set up. You see how it doesn't snap, but it snaps like that? So, like, what the heck is going on with that? Like, I don't need it to do that. So you can pick it up. But I've tried it. I, I thought it was just because of the RFC, but I tried it on these. These are just regular no collision metal foundations and and nothing. And the other one is like it's a little bit different. It's like supposedly like a walkway for one. See how it's supposed to stand up, but it wants to snap like to a lower point. So I'm really not sure what to do yet. Maybe you guys know. I'm not real sure. Uh, the glass walls are really, really cool, though. Check this out. Let's go ahead and put them in the one slot so I could use them over and over again. And you can just put them, like, all around any surface. They're clearer than the regular greenhouse materials. But watch this. This is the cool part about it. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Man, it's not giving me the option. Pick up. I could pick them up earlier. Oh, I don't know why. You should be able to pick them up and change the color of them unless something was recently changed. Oh, man. I, I was Yesterday I was playing around with them, and I can change the, gla like the color of the glass. Uh, but I don't know what's going on. Oh, well. Maybe something has changed in the mod. I'm not real sure. It might have updated. And there's also these. And these are some little railings or whatever. And I thought about doing railings around too. So let me just show you how the railings look. I'll just put them down. So it actually comes out from the inside like this. And this is just a rail. So you could pick these up as well. Pick up copper railing. And you can put them back down. Yeah, and they fit just like that. So it's a copper railing. I think that we can do some like some cool bridges and stuff. I don't know what this four menu is or whatever, but you could pick them up. Let's see. For sure, I can't get any. 
No, JSG copper wall. Nope. Whoa, I don't have the ability. I was being able to change glass color and stuff like that yesterday. I just don't understand that. Last but not least, we have, uh, I don't know if I could place these either. Yeah, you can place them, but like we'll need some of the other diagonals. So, but they place and you can put them back and you should be able to pick them up. Yeah, I could pick these up. I just don't know why I can't pick these up. I don't know what happened right there. Anyway, that's going to be what we're using. And this is the final thing right here that I wanted to show you. These freaking things look cool. Isn't that a cool wall structure? I don't know what we're going to do with them, but that's a really, really neat wall. I like that. And, of course, you could pick those up, too. So, anyway, that's the stuff that I'm going to be messing around with for some base build. I love the design of this stuff. I hope you guys are as excited as I am about playing it. I am going to finish it off here, you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all really enjoy the episode. Let me get out your face here. If you did, don't forget to give me some dap on that like button to show you support for the series, guys. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Ulgen signing off, and we'll see you next time.